And three, two, one. Okay, got you. Good morning, uh, ladies. This is uh, Dolly Chu. I'm a uh, original coming from Taiwan. In 1992, I moved to uh, uh, immigrate to uh, Los Angeles, United States. Uh, I stay here and love the place I live. Um, I think uh, today I'm going to, uh, uh, thank you for Suzanne uh, asked me to, uh, to show what I have uh, the class. I'm going to show the painting of the, uh, uh, this is the, going to, uh, to demo this piece. The better fish, and all together I have three. So um, this one I will talk about later, how to do this. Uh, I already, uh, I have a two classes. So uh, one class, this is my class project. And my student, uh, you know, Chinese, the Asian people love the fish because fish is, uh, this is another one. The fish is the, in Chinese, means uh, wealth. So uh, it's good luck. Okay, right. And uh, uh, I just found, you know, uh, five years ago, I, I'm in iPad magazine. Uh, that's uh, 2017. So you can see some uh, my uh, my profile and my painting. Time is really flying. So, and this is what the, what I do, okay? Uh, I love scenery. I love, yeah, uh, I, actually I love the natural, everything. So I enjoy painting. I start paint, uh, China painting on 2000, uh, sorry. 1996 or seven, okay? And uh, uh, when I began the China China paint, I just love it so much, okay? Now, uh, doing the one, uh, this is a two fire project. So I'm going to show from the beginning, the step-by-step. Step. Uh, when I get, um, uh, you you can try to find all kind of uh, uh, the fish pictures from the uh, um, from Google from uh, I don't know whether you know uh, the uh, internet you find all kind of uh, information pictures you know so uh, those are pictures I found uh, from the internet so I just download and uh, uh, of course a little bit. Uh, the movement, you know, when we paint, you can't really uh, do whatever you want. So you will see, I will uh, still going to change a little bit. And uh, you want, because we are not raw bite and we are not really, you know, uh, able to copy exactly the same. So when you brush movement, you always find out, oh, a little bit change are different, so different. I believe you are uh, uh, ladies receiving uh, my uh, uh, studies by email, okay, uh, through Suzanne, okay? So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to show, uh, mm -hmm. how do you do the tracing? Okay, when you get the pictures from the uh, internet, um, you can make copy like these, okay? Then uh, I have the, uh, so I just outline, outline these. And this is my uh, uh, transparency uh, uh, copy, original, okay? I don't know whether can you see this or not. This is going to, uh, to see, okay? And when I try to uh, put my uh, my picture, so I will use this one, uh, transparency one, and adjust 
I'm going to move my uh, uh, my fish, you know, like this way or this way, you know, you can you can just adjust. So it's, this is good for you. And when I do interesting, I like to use the turntable because this is, you know, easier for me to control uh, what I'm going to do. So when I design this one, so I just use the masking tab to hold the piece. Like this. When you're holding this one, and get you a carbon paper, a graphite paper, whatever, okay? Then you just squeeze in. Then I use Dallas to start to tracing. Sometimes I give my student copy of the, the paper. So therefore then for easier to do this one. Okay, let me show. Let's move this one. Going to use this one. And this is the copy from my uh uh from my original stuff. Then I use the, and this is good for my student to work because you can, if you don't have the Sarah pen, you can use even just the uh, ball pen. So this is also very easy to trace. And if you using the uh, ball pen, you can using different color of the uh, ball pen, so you are easier to see uh, which one you are already done, which uh, you are missing. So this is the uh, the working stuff. Everybody knows this, all right? And tracing is uh, just helping you uh, identify the uh, position and uh, where is the uh, uh, we need to uh, parts, okay? Right, so this is uh you know I just just few few lines doing this, so we don't need this one right now. Okay. All right. So, um, and I also don't need this one. Uh, besides, I'm love to sharing something. This is my brush holder. When I'm traveling, you know, um, this is good for uh, put on my uh, carry-on cases or even the uh, check-in luggage. They are very stable. I just put my, my brushes uh, one by one. Of course, I need to clean up first, okay? And under is the uh, fun tag. Uh, I think everybody knows the fun tag, which is helping us keeping our stuff uh, steady from the earthquake or whatever you want to uh, secure your pieces. So this is the, the one I uh, really enjoy and love it. And one more time, again, we are going to show this piece today, okay? So uh, this is the, the piece I'm going to do 
and uh, let me get my uh, this one is is done with the tracing. This is the, my color. Okay, you can uh you can use anything you like. Uh, as you, you know, fishy uh especially uh the beta fish, they are so colorful. That is why I have a uh, three different uh patterns, which actually is the different uh color combination for my student uh reference. This is the blue and the red. Okay. And this color is the orange gold, yellow, gold, orange. So this is color is also uh, very uh, as, as nice and happier color for uh, Asian people. I use uh, most of the, the brush uh, is like this. This is a size six. You can use size six, seven, or a whatever you like, or even smaller size. Uh, I use, uh, this is a size two for the fish scales. I will show you step by step anyway. And also, of course, the liners. Uh, you can use all kinds of different liners to help you. And also the uh, wipe out tool. I think this is uh, good. I have very nice. Uh, this is my uh, uh, brush rest and this one too. The, the brush rest is good when you are uh, uh, when you paint it, you just leave your your brush rest over there. okay. All right, let's begin. So this piece I already tracing and uh, um, I was uh, trying to uh, in leave the, uh, uh, let you see more clear. So I put here, I have a darker tracing color. You can see that, okay. From the beginning, I was talking about, I'm using the pink color. I use in pink color is because I want to show uh, they have the pink, they have some pink, they have some uh, 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 burgundy color, you know, so you can choose what color you want. I just want to give them, um, I like the batters because they are, uh, their movement is so pretty, it's like a dancing. So I'm very happy with this stuff, okay. So today I using the pink color. You can use pink or rose. And when I, uh, uh, when I start to teaching this one, I tell my student, you have the line here and the, you can see the line is direct you, your brush is the direction. Okay, uh, just give you some reference. So, uh, 
I don't know this. Can you see the color well? Or too light? Okay, let me trans trans uh change to the rose. So maybe you can see better. I like a uh, pen when I pen. I like to put uh, everything on my hands. It's a uh, except the large uh, pieces. Okay, as long as I can control, I just do like these. Uh, so both my hands uh, sit on the uh, tables. That's easier for me to control my pieces and uh, my brush stroke. So I'm going to use my pink first, everything. Very quickly. Uh, pink is very light color, so you might able to see so clear, but when I uh, adding the blue, you will see much clearer now. I just adapt some the uh the color behind, so you will have a transparency feeling. All right, the thing, the pink one is good. Okay, let me do uh the body. The body, uh, I use pink as I, I want to give them some, uh, uh, you will see a little bit here through. But when I first fire, you see the photos, my first fires, uh, it's a lot. can see my first fire. So you will see the pink over here, over there, a lot of the colors. But again, this is, you know, uh, just reference. For the body, I just wash first. I I don't need to care about too much the the detail. And I will add in the detail later on. So just give them the kind of feeling. This is under color, underneath the color.
All right. Okay. This is my pink color. Now I'm going to uh uh to do the the things. Okay, I'm going to show you. Um, you are going to uh. Let me see these. Uh, I like to uh uh to get some black and black and white. Uh, copy because that is easier to to show you how the the fish scale the things goes okay so this is this is the one we are going to paint today uh again you know uh you can see how they are really terms and the the things turn and they are looking so you know excited uh this is the original picture. Um, I changed the eyes because I I I don't personally I didn't like the eyes looks like these. So so this is just for your reference. You know how to use the pictures. As if you see from the color one, uh, you probably not really uh can can identify so much detail when you see the black and white one. So this is a good reference for you, all right? Now, um, in that case, I'm going to start with my uh, blue color. Okay. The blue color, I'm going to, this is the, this thing is much topper. So I'm going to start the underneath one. Just over the pink. You got a very light touch to get this kind of feeling. Okay, let me do this first. Try to long stroke. When I find my uh my stroke cannot too long, that's mean I need to condition my brushes. Oh, okay. Um, if you can't see the stroke, all right, here. Okay. 
So I'm using darker color. Can you see now? How oh, is like this? All right. All right. I think I just need to keep in training so you can see. All right. Every stroke is going to where the fins come from. And this fin is back fin. It's come from, from the body, middle of the body. And this is a tail fin. So every stroke is going to where they come from. Okay. So this is very important. This is, you can see some uh, pink underneath. All right, so this basically, this is the thing. And you need to uh, clean up the outside edge. Uh, if you're using the uh, uh, wipeout tool, you will have the, the hot line like this. If I want to, you know, keeping this one, more outstanding I using my uh I using my uh, wipeout tour. If you want to keep the outside look uh softer using the uh uh the q tips the q tips which is we see uh, you can see um this okay let me put this way yes the tip is more sharp this is for cosmetic use, all right? So this one, I'm going to clean up the outside edge. And beside, this is my first fire, okay? I don't really need to follow my lines. This is just for my reference. So you can, I, this is the way you clean up. 
Oh, you can use this one. Okay, so uh, I don't, I don't need to uh, clean up everything here. So uh, let's go to next step. The next step, I'm going to show <clears throat> the the body, the fish scales. The fish scales are using uh my brush number two. This is my brush number two. Yeah. One more time, you can see I already have some lines here. This is also give me some idea of where my fish scales goes to. And this is going to here, here, here. And this is the back, the training, the body training. Okay. Uh, you can give you... One more time. Okay. Let me put uh as my uh uh my study. Okay, I just try to follow my study. Okay, I was, you can see. I don't know. Can you see that? Maybe I change the blue color. Anyway, this is just okay. If the fish are uh, a sea get a uh, sea stroke, you see the picture. Okay, they are line by line. Everything by line here. Okay. And even you can see something, you know, on the on the head, the fish head. So this is, you know. This is the way how to how to do your uh the fish scale first. Okay. All right. So uh again I don't need to uh finish this piece because we are going to having the second the second fire. Okay. So uh here I need to uh, clean up my uh, my side things. Your first fire always keeping light. So you will having a uh, second fire, adding more details. You you give you a lot of a chance. All right. And more important is your fish eye. Okay. Uh, let me do a little bit more here. Here you just dab it on the on the hat, okay? Uh, because the next fire we were doing more. Okay, this is 
just tap it. Ah. Okay, I forget to uh forgot to uh, get my black here. Give me a second, please. Sorry. Right, this is my black. Need to reconditioning. All right. Eyes, always very important. So I give my fish eye here, the black. Okay. You can decide you're going to give them a highlight or not. Okay. Uh, usually I give them a highlight on the top. Make it uh... Okay, so this is basically our first wire. All right. I'm going to uh, show you the second fire. This is the, the already, I already fired the first, first fire. And as I said, I keep the color very, very light. So some even too light, I cannot see. So I using pencil, you know, identify uh, my outside edge. I'll just give you a kind of the reference, all right? So this time we can do a little bit more, okay? We need some shadows. We need to keep body uh, terms, but here you can't really see too much because uh, it's kind of a uh, wash. And uh, uh, I use the pink for my uh, uh, my fish scale, so you probably cannot really see too clear. Can you see that? All right. Anyway, now we are going to uh, having, if I want to something uh, more strong light, I, you can see my pink is, uh, is very, as kind of strong, all right? So I'm going to using, uh, I think my pink is sh should be uh, enough here. So I don't want to 
using pink anymore. So I use my uh, blue. Now I'm using darker blue this time. You can all using all kinds of combination. Me too. Refresh. Need to refresh my color. That's the blue family, so I don't need to really clean up my brushes. I just use the same brushes, going to dip the different color. In this case, sometimes I turn my brush So second fire, I just enhanced.
All right, can you see that? Okay. Okay, so this, uh, uh, the tail fin is finished. Let's go to the back fin. All right.
for the right side, I will give the more identify here. All right. Okay, this is the fish tail. Let's go to the body. I already have underneath the uh, the pink color and the, the lines for the scales. So uh, I just need a little bit darker to show to show my body's terms. I adding a little bit a little bit gray, a little bit blue. All right. Need to clean up. You can see my body terms.
Oh, time's out, right? Okay, I will try to finish as quick as possible. Dolly, you don't need to hurry. We have plenty of time. Just okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, but I have another appointment. <laughs> All right, but uh, anyways. I think maybe you can right. I need to clean up my uh my side things here. Right. In hands. My fish eyes. This is the fish.
Okay. Darker here. Keep then some uh... all right. This is the uh, this is the about okay. So this is my uh, uh, beta fish and uh, just uh, one minute talking about this one. And this is uh, the same technique, everything is same. Just uh, the different posture and different color. And I using uh, the light red, very, very light, bright. Okay, bright red. You can use in Santa red, China berry red. I use China berry red or uh, watermelon red and blue. Again, any kind of blue is fine. And this is our uh, orange color. So I using a uh, California puppy and the yellow parts, it's uh, lemon yellow, mixing yellow or elbow yellow, uh, any kind of yellow and all, any kind of the orange parts uh, as work for as was fine. But this is uh, as hard to see by the uh, uh, here, uh, original piece is much, uh, brighter uh, color is the more uh, more looks the nice but uh, I cannot really see too much uh, by the uh, uh, camera okay so uh, this is the this is the uh, uh, today's uh, uh, demonstration any questions? If not, then uh, we can just finish. Thank you, Dolly, very much. It was a beautiful presentation, and I know we will all re uh, visit it on the um, ipadinc.org website under the uh, paintings, under, the, uh, 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 under your listing. Thank you very much. We enjoyed it, and we will sign off now. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Bye.